Watch it, Alan. I'm shooting. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> Jesus! No, oh no, oh no, come on! I'm saying this right off the bat. This movie is a blast. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is a campy B-movie that embraces the fact that it's a campy B-movie. Campy doesn't mean bad, it just means that the movie is having as much fun as we are. Our Big Top Massacre takes place in a small town where an alien ship shaped like a circus tent, because of course, lands in the woods and the next thing we know, alien clowns are going around killing people. You can see that this movie is heavily influenced by 50s sci-fi. You have all the college kids at the local makeout spot and then they see a shooting star land in the woods which turns out to be a spaceship. The movie is PG-13, so you don't get anything particularly gory. You do get one fuck in the movie. Of course, every PG-13 movie is allowed only one fuck, or else they're fucked. This being a PG-13 horror movie from the 80s, the deaths are more fun and creative than violent. Of course, that's what the movie's going for. Fun. Let's talk about the clowns, because let's face it, we're here to see the clowns. Pizza! Oh. Pizza. <laughs> I love the designs. They're obviously clowns, but they were made to be more clown-like creatures. They're made to be funny, but the film does a good job at making them menacing too, especially when we get close-ups of them laughing. I love how the clowns kill people. The movie embraces the fact that they're clowns. The most common kill is using a ray gun to wrap people up in these cotton candy cocoons, but even though there's a primary weapon, there's still a lot of unique deaths. Popcorn, pies, shadows. <laughs> That's the main reason why I think Killer Clowns is the best Killer Clown movie. These clowns are the clowniest clowns in horror. Here's a fun game. Take a shot every time I say clown in this review. Second thought, don't do that. But I do. I think this is the best Killer Clown movie. Both the original It and the It remake are fine, but they both fall into the same trap that a lot of Killer Clown movies fall into. And that trap is the killers or the monsters look like clowns, but that's it. They don't really do too many clown-esque things. And when you're down here with me, you float down! They do crack jokes, but for the most part, they're just psychopaths that dress up like clowns. Even with Pennywise, the most he did was play with balloons, or do his weird dance. But with killer clowns from outer space, they're alien creatures that are clowns. Both It movies are good, I just prefer when my killer clowns act like clowns. Without question, the best thing about this movie is that all it's trying to do is have a good time. There's a lot of effort put into this movie. The practical effects are fantastic, but you can tell that the filmmakers wanted the audience to have fun with this movie. Just look at the title, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Clown spelt with a K. If you know that title, and then you watch this movie, and you get pissed that you didn't get a straightforward horror movie, that's your own damn fault. Sure, the movie is incredibly silly, but that's the charming thing about this movie. It knows that it's incredibly silly. It's not bad, it's just goofy. Nobody stores cotton candy like this. What are you talking about? Of course it is. <laughs> God, look. 
Killer Clowns from Outer Space has a very loyal fan base, and I'm very happy to be part of that fan base. And I just want to say this, everybody's into crossovers and cinematic universes. You want to know what I want to see? I want to see Star Trek vs. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Would it be dumb? Yeah. Would it be awesome? Hell yeah. Now let me ask you, have you seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space? If you have, what do you think of it? And what's your favorite Killer Clown movie? This is your buddy Justin, here to remind you that the Grindhouse will never die.